Hey everyone, it's Kelsey here and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome if you're new. And as you can tell, I'm sitting on my floor. I'm just really, really comfortable sitting on the floor, so I decided to just film on my floor. Plus, I just did another video in the same exact spot because it was like five minutes ago, so I'm just staying here and doing this video. So honestly, as I'm doing this video, I'm not 100% sure if I'm even going to upload this, but we'll see. But obviously, if you guys are watching this, then I decide to upload it. Duh. But it's just going to be another video of me taking my hair out and talking to you guys. And it's kind of sad that I'm doing this already because I just did a video like this, but... <sighs> so obviously, I shouldn't be taking my hair out yet because I just did it, but it's coming out. It's coming out. So I've had this hair in, I don't even think it's been two weeks yet. If it has, it's just been past two weeks. I forgot exactly what day I did it, but... I, I'm just not feeling this hair. Well, okay, don't get me wrong. I loved how this style looked on me. And if you guys don't know, this was a knotless style. Let me back up so you guys can see my head. I did large knotless braids on myself a couple weeks ago. And I really, really liked the look on me, but this hair and me, we're not getting along. We are not getting along. First of all, I didn't like the hair. I don't like the texture of it. It's very, very frizzy and it's annoying. And it's very itchy. And not just on my head, but on my whole body. It's just really itchy. Also, it, I knew it wasn't going to last very long because I'm not very good at gripping my own hair. And it's even harder to grip larger braids. So this is like a lose-lose situation because it's large braids and I'm doing it on myself. So I knew I wasn't going to get a very long wear out of them, but... I still thought I'll make it longer than this, but I just can't take it anymore. I feel like the lighting is making it look a little bit neater than it is, but it looks so messy. So, it's time for them to go. But just to show you guys how long they were. <laughs> yeah, they were really, really long, and I really, really like them, but... They have to go. So I'm just gonna cut these out and take them out and see what I think of to talk about with you guys today. <sighs> I'm actually really sad because I just did it. <laughs> I wish they looked like lasted longer, but I really can't take it. It's extremely itchy and I feel like it's like itches that I can't scratch because I can never get to them because they're always right under the braid. I thought it was going to be like a quick snip. I was trying to be dramatic. Okay. Okay. One's out. Now they all have to come out. So I forgot the name of the brand of hair that I use, but it used to be my go-to hair when I first got into braiding my own hair. And I showed you guys the hair in that video, so if you want to see, you can go ahead and check that out. It's like two videos ago. But it's one of those value packs, so it comes with three bundles, and each of the bundles are really, really thick, which I really liked, and I felt like I got a lot for my money, so I always stocked up on those packs of hair. But what I didn't like about it was how blunt the ends were. They weren't stretched at all. Like, it's one thing for it to not be pre-stretched, but it literally looked like someone took one of those, what do you call those guillotine cutters to, like, make paper really straight? It looks like someone used that to cut the hair because it was such a straight end so I would always have to feather them myself which is fine but I just feel like I could never do it enough Ooh, I like this length <laughs> oh I forgot to take a before picture for my thumbnail hold on Okay, one of those should do. But anyway, as I've gotten more and more used to doing hair or doing braids, in general, I've noticed how poor that quality of hair was. And I haven't used it in a very long time, but like I said, I've always stocked up on it, so I had a lot of hair. And luckily, I used all of it with this style, so now I'm done with it. I used all of it, and then I have to use a different brand to finish it because I ran out. So I'm all out of this hair, so... I'll never be using it again. 
but I feel like it was itchy because of how thick the braids were. And also, like, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a very frizzy, frizzy texture. So, I don't know. But the point is, my scalp does not like it. My skin doesn't like it. And I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it anymore, so it's time. Also, for those of you who just discovered me or don't know me very well yet and don't know, I am a dancer and having really long, really thick, really heavy braids makes it very difficult to keep your balance while you're doing turns. So I feel like having this hair in right now was a really bad idea. But I mean, I've done it before. I just kind of deal with it because it's hard to put it in a bun. That was my one thing. I couldn't really put it up because I wanted to stay up because it was so heavy. So, it wasn't really working for me. I think the next time I do black sprays, I want them to be somewhere around this length. I think I'm going to do it like different shades of brown and maybe some blonde pieces in there and curl the ends. But I want it to be really skinny. But I'm going to wait a little bit before I braid my hair again. And just wear my natural hair out for a little bit. Okay, I'm really, really, really into this length right now. I like the size and length. This might be my next braid idea, actually. Like, maybe one day if I'm pressed for time and I just really want to braid my hair, I could probably do something in this style in, like, two or three hours, and I'll be good. Because I love myself with braids, okay? I love braids. But, yeah, there's this doesn't look like... Would you ever see this and think that I only did this a week ago? This is sad. And then how am I going to tell people that I'm a braider and then this is the work that I show them? You know, like, that's another thing with me is that I try to always make sure my hair is looking on point because if I happen to talk to somebody in the store or whatever and I mention that I do hair, I don't want to be like, yeah, I did my own hair and it looks like it's falling out of my head, you know? So, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be uploading this, but obviously, if I do, you guys would know because you'll be watching it. But to be completely honest with you guys, to be really real with you guys, I'm just looking for any content opportunity that I can find just because I don't really have time to be making videos like that anymore. Like during the quarantine, I was on a roll. I was good. I had two, three videos up every week because I would spend days at a time, like the whole day just making and editing videos and then I'll have enough just waiting to upload for like, the next few weeks. But I've been very, very busy and I'm extremely grateful for that. But... I don't have time to make videos anymore. I'm always like trying to give myself a schedule so that I'd be like, okay, on Monday I have a short appointment so when I get home I'm making videos. But I, I'm usually tired or I don't know, I just don't get around to it because not only am I working again, but I also have dance again. And I dance pretty much every day. And because I'm a teacher, I'm also trying to use my free time to think of choreography for my classes because I have five classes to teach. So I try and spend my free time working on that as well. So unfortunately, I've been having to put YouTube on the back burner from time to time. And it's rough because I'm really trying to grow. I'm trying to stay consistent and I've been doing so good with it. And now I just can't. So that's why my next couple videos for the next few weeks or whatever I'm probably gonna be uploading like anything and everything honestly but no oh, I thought I saw a spider oh no it's a feather but yeah I'm definitely gonna make sure that I still have some days here and there where I'm just gonna take time and like put together like real good content but you know, sometimes I just need to upload something just to be consistent because I feel like consistency, consistency is key in growth as a YouTuber. So that's what's going on with me. What's going on with you guys? I don't even know how long I've been talking for. I've already had to stop the camera once. Alright, so I've gotten over my sadness for cutting these braids. Now I just want to get them out because it's still itching. I think my, my scalp is getting really excited about getting these braids out. I don't know who I was trying to fool. I don't know why I cut these braids so long. My hair is not that long. I could have went so much shorter. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to finish taking these out off camera. And then get back to you guys when I'm done. 
Can you guys see how much I've done so far? All right, I'll talk to you guys momentarily. Okay. What a mess. Oh. Ooh, that feels good. If you guys have had braids before, you know what that's all about. You know what that's about. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm gonna go ahead and comb through this hair. I mean, I've been tangling as I've been going along, but now I'm going to really detangle it and then figure out what I'm going to do with it. But that's all for this video. If you watch this all the way to the end, you're a real one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this interesting. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!